Hi, this is B-Girl AT, Flow More Crew and B-Boy and B-Girl Dojo. I come from Finland and I've been dancing since 95, but I've been dancing breaking since 2004. So before breaking, I was dancing other dance styles, some hip hop, some just kids ballet and modern dance. So I have a strong background of other dance styles, but 2004 is the year I started breaking. Uh, the first time I saw breaking was a uh, Bumfunk MC's music video and that was a very big thing in Finland in the early 2000s and I didn't start myself that time but my little brother was breaking and but he don't break anymore but 2004 I started because there was a free workshop of my crew, Flomo crew and I went there and it was like magic for me I, when I saw all the footwork steps flowing so smoothly and yeah, immediately I just wanted to learn everything about breaking and when I get to the events it was also like a different kind of world. It was like like so tense in a good way. Everybody was so excited about going to the circles to dance and show what they've, they've been practicing. So that was like something that you couldn't experience in any, any other places. I think that's the biggest reason breaking is. Breaking arrived to Finland in er, in the early 80s with movies like Beat Street and Wild Style and some other films that they broadcasted in in TV and the b-boy scene scene was like very alive in the 80s but then it kind of died for a while there was a couple of guys who continued all the time but like in because of Bomba Gamsis, it started to be very big again in the early 2000s and in the mid 2000s Finnish b-boy started traveling a lot and going to jams, meeting some pioneers of the dance so the knowledge of the dance started getting to the country and Finnish people like to do everything very properly so we want to know everything like about the history, the culture, not just learn the big moves but we want to like make a very solid foundation for our, ourselves so people there appreciate like very small details and all the knowledge all the stories and the history behind behind everything and the whole culture Bibo and Bigo Dojo is uh, our like breaking school but online uh, it's interactive learning, so we are also giving feedback. There is a lot of videos when we, like every month we've been doing like a challenge that people have to send their own, own clip and we can give some feedback. But Dojo has been our passion with Bebo Focus, like we put our, all of our heart and soul into this project. We are sharing all of our knowledge that we've been like gathering during the years of breaking. and. Yeah, it's growing all the time. At the moment, I believe around 40 countries in the dojo. So it's a community also to share the learning experience, ask questions and yeah. I never thought that I'm any different from B-Boys because my biggest teacher and mentor in the beginning was B-Girl Taya, who was like one of the most successful B-Girls ever. And like I saw very from very close distance what b-girls are capable of so I never doubted myself I always thought that I'm gonna be able to do the same as the guys are doing because also Taya was so dope and she like she's even better than most of the guys and um, of course if we, uh, like the body of females is a little bit different so some of the moves are like more difficult for us but nowadays we have so many high-level b-girls in the scene so I think you don't have to think that you're not able to do something like there is proof that it's possible so just believe in yourself be confident and work hard anything is possible we always say learn the foundation and flip it like you have to make the work like learn the basic steps like get to know about the culture not just the big moves but like be patient ask questions, go to workshops, like be curious about everything. 
because it's it's a beautiful culture with so much history and so much beautiful things so get to know everything and go to jams socialize don't just practice by yourself because it's like it's a lifestyle so if you're just in the studio practicing you're not really living the lifestyle but go out there go to events have fun with your friends form a crew form a crew because I think people around you are very important like if you're practicing alone you're not gonna be motivated for for forever but if you have a nice crew or people around you it's gonna give you inspiration for years and keep you keep you motivated to practice